Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily run Windows apps side by side with your Mac apps using VirtualBox. So there are other solutions out there to this. Uh, you could do Bootcamp or Parallels or VMware, things like that. But those can often end up being costly solutions and, uh, the, you know, there's a better way. And plus with Bootcamp, you cannot run Windows and OS X at the same time. So the better way is VirtualBox. Now, VirtualBox is very similar to Parallels of VMware, but the main difference is that it's free, and free is always better, right? So to get this, all you need to do is open up your favorite web browser and go to virtualbox.org. And then on your, the downloads page, you can find all the downloads you need. Um, right there is the one for Intel Max. So you're going to download this and you're going to install it. It's a fairly typical process. Then from there, you can search for VirtualBox and Spotlight and open it up. So in VirtualBox, you're going to see this interface and it's pretty simple. Now what you're going to want to do, you're going to need to have a copy of Windows on hand to do this and you can have pretty much any version of Windows and it will work with it. So all you need to do is click New up at the top and you're going to get this virtual machine wizard and it's going to help you set up a new virtual machine. So you're going to hit continue and you're going to put in the name of your OS. So in this case, I'm going to call it XP. And you can see it has it defaulted to Microsoft Windows and XP. Now you can choose 3.1 all the way up through Windows 7 64 bit. So you get a lot of different things you can do. So you hit continue. Now you can change your RAM size and I'm going to set it up to 256. And now you can create a new virtual hard disk. And then you can just hit continue, continue, and continue again. You can pretty much leave all the defaults the exact same. I'm going to set this to about 3.8 gigs here. And I'm going to hit done. So you can see here it gives you a summary of how your virtual machine is going to look. And you can click done there. Now at this point you're going to want to put it in your installation disk for whatever operating system you are planning to put on here. So in my case it would be Windows XP. So I'm just going to slide my copy of Windows XP in now and it should show up on the desktop any second. So you can see here right on the desktop it says Win XP Home G1. So that is your disk in there and now once that shows up you got to make sure that's up there first. You can click start and it's going to open the first run wizard so you can hit continue and you can see here that it has my host drive selected and it's my DVD drive and you'll want that selected assuming you have a disk in. Click continue and then hit done. Now what it's going to do here is it's just going to start the virtual machine. It's going to go through your normal process like a typical computer and you can see here that Windows XP startup is now running. So, so now, now the setup, setup will continue just like it normally would. And it's, it's going to load, load all the files, files that it needs to load for Windows, Windows to start. And, and it's just going to proceed on like a typical installation of Windows. So once you have your operating system installed, you can just select it and click start. And it will boot up into whatever operating system you choose. So in this case, we're running Windows XP Home Edition right here, and you can see it'll boot up just like any normal Windows operating system would. So now you can see you have Windows running right alongside Mac OS X. Now if you want even more features with your operating system to make it more of a seamless experience, you can go up to the Devices menu and click Install Guest Editions. What will happen now is you'll see something pop up here where you can install these guest editions. Now what these do is they let you integrate your Windows environment more seamlessly with Mac OS X. And I definitely recommend this because this does help things out a lot. So you can see there it finished and I'll just reboot. Now once my operating system is rebooted here, now I can go up into the machine tab and I can switch to seamless mode. And I'll just hit switch. And what it's going to do now is it's going to integrate Windows into my 
OS 10 environment. Now, it doesn't look, you know, the best. You've got your taskbar kind of right above your dock here. Um, but I can hide the dock, make it look a little bit better. Let's go out of seamless mode and back into it. And you can see it looks a little bit better. Then I can bring back up my dock, uh, things like that. So now I'm running pretty much Windows XP and OS 10 at this exact same time. So I can click on the start menu, open up my computer, and you can see I have you know, that open here. And then I could also be in Safari, browsing around, doing whatever I wanted. So you can see here I can run Mac OS X and Windows XP side by side right in the same thing and I don't have to be switching back and forth between, you know, different operating systems booting in between them like you would with boot camp or even, you know, switching back into back and forth between programs like Parallels or VMware and which cost money. So you can see this is a very seamless experience and it works very well. Um, you know, it's not it's a little bit glitchy once in a while, with as I showed you before with the dock and the taskbar. Um, but overall, it does work very nicely, and you can switch back and forth between Mac OS X applications and Windows applications, just like that. So you can see I can you know, open up whatever I want here, and then open up something on the Mac side as well, and they'll both work together. So this is a very handy thing, and if you're you know recently switching from PCs to Macs, you might still want some of your Windows applications to uh, run, but you know you rather use Mac OS X. But there's still some stuff you're clinging on to. So this is a very nice way to kind of integrate both experiences and to make it easier when you're switching. So I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.